What's up guys, Bobby here from Slittex, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up conditions for opting contacts into your subscriber list from HubSpot to Slittex. Ready, let's check it out. All right, I'm gonna start off this video by showing you what could happen if you have your settings turned on and adjusted improperly. All right, so I'm gonna opt into the list from a HubSpot form, and I'm gonna show you what could happen if it's not done right as far as the conditions being set up. So over on HubSpot, I have a web form. In this web form, I have everything set up to capture first name, email, mobile number, and then of course the checkbox for compliance, the SMS permission. On our web form, when we submit our information, let's just go ahead and put some details in here. All right, we check the box and we hit subscribe, okay? Now before I do this, let me bring up the phone on the screen. All right, so there's my phone, I'm gonna hit subscribe. Now here's the thing, inside my Slicktext account, I have turned down the HubSpot settings for three text words. That means that when I create a new profile in HubSpot, by adding a new contact or receiving one from a web form, it's going to send it over to Slicktext and Slicktext is gonna look and see, hey, what text word does this have it turned on for? And are we sending an auto reply, should we opt them in? What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna receive three auto replies because I have the settings turned on for three of them to send an auto reply and to opt them in once a new profile is created inside HubSpot. That's bad because what you wanna do is specify which text list you want to add them to. You don't wanna add them to all of them, right? So here's my phone, it's been about 30 seconds. I've received three text messages now, opting me in and confirming I've been opted into the three that I have the settings turned on for. So let's pause there for a second. Let's shut off our phone and let's go back into our slick text account. All right, on the text words page, you guys will have the settings turned on for whichever list you wanna sync contacts to. So BB Grill, this is the first one. Inside the settings here, under HubSpot, we have it turned on so that when somebody new is created in HubSpot, we add them to the BB Grill list. This setting right here, if you just turn this setting on for every text word, when you get a new contact in HubSpot, it's gonna put them on that text word list. And if you turn that on for every text word you have, they could receive who knows how many auto replies. That's why the condition statements have been created. So you can specify which text list from what form in HubSpot you're gonna add these contacts to. Back inside the account, we're gonna slide this little conditional statement on and we're gonna add a hidden field to our web forms in HubSpot. So every form that you guys have in there, you wanna create a hidden field and you wanna tag that person with a value they can't see, such as chocolate ice cream, okay? So in the example I'll do, I'll add a hidden field and the value for that hidden field will be chocolate ice cream. So that when they subscribe and we have our settings turned on, it'll only subscribe them to the text list that I want them to that matches the chocolate ice cream value for that field, all right? So back inside our HubSpot account, let's go ahead and create that, that um, value, all right? You guys should know how to do this. Um, when you go over to the contacts tab, you can go over to uh, edit properties and you can add, uh, create a new property, all right? I've already created a new property, and uh, so I'm not gonna create another one here, but you guys should know how to do that. I called the property, I think, Green Briar, all right? So there it is, there's my property. I set it up under contact information. It's a single line of text, okay? Make sure it's checked to use in the forms, and um, then it'll show up there for our options. So now that we have our custom field created, our custom property, uh, or you can even use a default property from HubSpot, you're gonna go back over to marketing, over to your forms, and inside your forms, uh, you can edit one of them or create a new one. I've added first name, email, and mobile number, plus the checkbox for SMS permission with my compliance statement, as you should. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna search for our contact information uh, custom field property. That was Greenbrier we're gonna do. So we're gonna go down here to, whoops, where is it? Greenbrier. We're gonna go ahead and if, if it doesn't show up on the left here, tap on the pencil for the field and then over on the left here, mark it as a hidden field. And for the value, go ahead and put whatever you want. I'm gonna do chocolate ice cream, okay? That's gonna be the value that this person gets tagged with once they submit their number. All right, so back on our text words page, we need to shut off the settings and adjust them so that it's conditional based on a value that you're tagged with. So for my BB Grill text word, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this a condition for chocolate ice cream. So inside our HubSpot settings, 
All right, everything's turned on except this middle one here. We're going to go ahead and add this conditional, all right? And we're going to use Greenbrier as the custom field that I set up. There it is. And the value has to be uh, chocolate ice cream. So we're just going to hit save. So that means that when somebody's profile is created inside HubSpot, add them to the BB Grill list. If their Greenbrier value is chocolate ice cream, subscribe them to the BB Grill list. If it's not chocolate ice cream, it will not subscribe them to this list. So we're going to scroll down and hit save. Now don't forget, we still need to shut off the settings for the other two. So we're going to go down to Boutique. And we're going to change the conditions to this one. We could shut it off altogether, but I just want to make sure you guys understand this. So the conditions, we're going to go down to Greenbrier. Right? That's the custom property that I made. And we're going to call this one uh, Vanilla Ice Cream. All right? So that's going to fail. That's not going to subscribe them because the condition doesn't meet. The, the value that we save for that profile for that one, the first web form is not going to match because anybody who submits on form A that we created, it's going to be chocolate ice cream. So one last one to adjust down to our HubSpot text word. And we are going to add this one condition and we're going to say, oh, we'll put this one as a strawberry ice cream. Okay, there we go. So now we're all set up. What's going to happen here in the example is that the conditions are going to be met for chocolate ice cream when I submit my number and the other two will not have my number added to their list. All right, so let's test it out. So view in browser. All right, I'll submit my information. In about 30 seconds, you're going to see my contact profile created inside HubSpot under the contacts tab. All right, there it is. Now on my mobile phone here in just a moment, I'm going to receive just a single auto reply for the BB Grill text list. All right, guys, and there is my confirmation message. And as you can see, I've only received one auto reply. Now inside my Slitex account, as we check the contacts for each text word, you'll notice that I'm subscribed to the BB Grill list, which met the condition, but I am not subscribed to the Boutique list and I am not subscribed to the HubSpot list. All right, guys, that's how you use our HubSpot integration to set up conditions for subscribing your contacts from HubSpot to SlickText for a specific list. Should you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290 or email us info at slicktext.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you soon.